Hi and welcome back for another tutorial from aimglobalwebsite.com. What I want to show you today is how to post a video from YouTube to your website and eventually to your Facebook page if you want or your Facebook account, whichever you prefer. Sometimes there are videos that you might find on YouTube that you don't have already on your website on our in our collection of videos on our website so let's say let's see this is the one that you want just click on it although this one is already in our collection of videos in your website but we'll just use it as an example okay let's pause it all right click on share and then embed and right click on this highlighted line right here click copy and go to your back end the back end of your website hover over post and click on add new Let's wait for it and while we're waiting for it I just want to point out that if you share this from here let's say you clicked on share and then clicked on Facebook and shared it to your friends on Facebook and uh, using your Facebook page or Facebook account what's gonna happen is it's gonna show this right here as the description of the video so you don't want that to happen because that's like um, advertising for this person you don't want your contacts or you don't want your and the people you're trying to market to to be contacting this BOT Billy 54 um, or just contact them through this cell phone number you want those customers or potential customers to be yours and not another person who owns you happen to own that video okay so let's go back to our post go to this blank page or the blank uh, white space and right click on it since we already copied the script just put it there click on paste to drop it there and for a title as much as possible please don't uh, please refrain from copying the entire title um, if it's too long just take whatever uh, gets the essence of that title and uh, copy it and paste it to as your title or you can change the entire title altogether okay and because a lot of people use a long title and you know that's not the content the entire content of your uh, post what they're asking for is the title okay just wanted to point that out and scroll down to pick a category where that belongs training and if you want to add it to your slider just click on slider 2 but if you don't then just click on whatever category you want and include a featured image I already saved the image of this I did a screenshot and took the image which is this one right here all right so what I want to do here is click on set featured image and I already uploaded it here if you don't have it uploaded already just click on upload files and then click on select files then pick that picture okay but since I already have it uploaded I'll click on media library and it has a check mark so that means I picked it already and click on set featured image and that's gonna show up here why that's important is so when I post it on Facebook whether it's a Facebook page or a Facebook account this is gonna show up instead of whatever Facebook chooses to post you'll see what I'm talking about later okay and we're done there let's scroll up scroll back up and click on publish post published that means it's uh, it's successful if you want to check it out click on um, view post and it's gonna show you what it looks like from the front end okay so it's this one you can view it if you want but let's pause it 
if you want to share this on your Facebook from this point just hover over the Facebook icon on the left and click on and click on it and since we have a thumbnail this is what I was talking about earlier since we have a thumbnail it's gonna show the users this thumbnail instead of a small itty bitty square and it's just silly um, this is better because it's a big picture so there's no way people are gonna miss that and you have the title right here and the name of the owner of the website and the address right there if you want to post it on your Facebook page just click on share a page uh, on a page you manage and it's gonna ask you to pick from whatever pages you have or if you just want to put it on your timeline just leave it on timeline but I want to post it on the Facebook page and I'll just put test or hey guys check this out alright share a link and let's see if it worked scroll down and there it is what's good about this is you know once they click on this on this video or the title or wherever or whatever they click on this post it's gonna take the viewer directly to your back to your website if you're the owner of this website and from here they can see a lot of information that they might have I mean answers to questions they might have and then even our global packages our store and blog and everything else the testimonials are all right here in categories categorized and they can even see your uh, phone number email address and all the other social networking um, accounts that you have right here if they want to follow you okay so that's how that's important and they can also contact you from here using this chat box all right okay thank you for listening and if you have any questions please let us know by contacting us through our Facebook page www.facebook.com slash aim global website or just go to aimglobalwebsite.com all right thank you for listening take care